Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, 23.1 is out and we're looking at a new feature, dynamic access titles. What I've gone ahead and done is I've created a parameter just for this. Uh, so if I go ahead and right click on the parameter, you can see it's right here. If I show the parameter, it's essentially just got three items, sales, profit, and discount. You might think this is a text-based parameter, but it's actually a numerical parameter uh, with integers. These actually load a little bit faster than a text parameter. So that's a little quick tip there. So you can see I've got three values. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to quickly build a chart. In this particular case, I've already gone ahead and created a metric, which basically checks that parameter. If I just go ahead and make this larger so you can see, uh, essentially it checks that parameter. And when the value is one, it gives us sales. When it's two, it's profit, then three, then discount. And that's essentially what's happening here. It's essentially corresponding to these values here on the right hand side. So when I go ahead and bring that in, you can see that it's now there. And if I bring subcategory into columns, just so you can see that as I switch between these, you can see that it's changing the values. But the problem we have here is that the axis title is not changing. Those keen of you will have noticed that here it just says metric because our measure is called metric. What this new feature allows us to do is to right click on the axis, edit the axis, and now in this little drop down, you can see that we can actually use one of these values. Uh, one of them is going to be custom, which we can just use and type. But if I select metric, it was actually going to use the value of the parameter in place of the axis title. So now when I select that, it says discount, then sales, and then profit. Really, really nice feature. Now, I. <laughs> I sort of wish Tableau would have just gone that little extra mile and given us an independent axis for each of these as well so that I don't have to fight with the formatting of the axis alongside the switching of the axis. So what I would have loved this to have done is respect or remember the different number formatting for each of the axis so that I could use this um, to do that. If you're going to want to do that, um, and let's say, for example, here I've got discount, which is a percentage and profit, which isn't, Unfortunately, there's no real way around that. You're still going to have to use the old hacks to do that. But if you've got, for example, sales and profit where the values are going to be in the same unit, that's totally fine. Quick one. 75% of people watching the video right now, at least in the last 90 days, aren't subscribed. Over the last year, it's 80%, even bigger. So I'd really appreciate your help hitting that sub button so we can push forward. Unfortunately, the subscriber count is the measure that some organizations look at, and those organizations are gonna help bring this content to another level. So I really want your help to help push this channel to the next level. Let's carry on. Now, the other way this feature works is if you've got a single value column. And in my head, I was like, what is a single value column? And, you know, Tableau's documentation can be a little bit weird sometimes, but I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, a single value column is essentially a column with only one value in the entire spread of the data. So what this really means is this. I can create a field and I'll call this a field. And in there, I'll just put this value, uh, call this single value. Okay, and so you'll see I've created a field, it's got single value, hit apply, hit okay. Now that's gone over here on the left hand side, so you can just see it's highlighted in blue. If I right click edit my axis and I go back to that drop down, you'll now see that it gives me two options. It's split it out into parameters, which is what I saw before, metric, profit bin, and top customers. But now looking at the data set, sample EU Superstore, you can see that field that I just created. And because this has a single value in it, a single value, it shows up. Subcategory and category don't show up. Uh, all these other dimensions don't show up because they don't have a single value. So what this really means is you can then create fields in your uh, data set here on the left that you can then use as labels. Just another bit of flexibility that allows you to work with this feature. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's the feature in a nutshell. Super simple. I know this has been asked for for a long time. So I have to say it. this is another quality of life improvement that's coming out from Tableau. Long overdue. I just wish it went that little extra mile, but nonetheless, it's here so we can celebrate. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.